What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video and I'm just checking in on you. How you doing? What's going on? Now today is November 28th and this is going to be your weekly vendor reset and must buys. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, Everything and let me know what you do. think in the comment section below. But we're going to start off here in Washington DC, then we will finish up the video in New York City. Our first vendor is going to be the Base of Ops vendor. Here we go. Hello, Agent. All right, and starting off at the top, we have the Born Great. This is the newest named assault rifle with perfect stabilize. Uh, I would uh, typically go with something like the Glory Days over uh, Born Great. However, I, I know this is the newest one, and if you do not have this one fully proficient, make sure you pick up a few of these and donate them to your expertise. Doing that, you could have this weapon fully proficient, like you can see here on your screen, without even using the weapon. Uh, another thing to add, though, it does come with damage to targets at a cover, which is a great attribute to have for this weapon. So if you do want to try this one out, just pick this one up, go to the recalibration station and uh, max out that assault rifle damage, and you're good to go. If you want this to hit as hard as possible, just uh, optimize that health and damage to targets at a cover. And that's it. Perfect. Moving on, we have the Banshee SMG with uh, magazine size and strained. That could be very interesting to use something like that on like a True Patriot or a Brazos de Arcaba, something like that. I mean, hmm, very interesting. Uh, moving on to the SIG 5.56 with swap speed and flatline. And then finally, the first wave uh, PF45 with rate of fire and eyeless. Looking at the gear items, we have a Alp Summit backpack with repair skills, creeping death, and explosive resistance. Um, hmm. That is, that's an interesting backpack. Uh, having the repair skills on Alp Summit, Alp Summit already gives you repair skills from the brand set bonus. So you could just change the creeping death off for whatever other talent you want. Uh, I just can't get my head around the whole explosive resistance part. I don't know. Uh, let me know if you use that attribute uh, in the game right now in the comments. And finally, we have a Fenris chess piece with glass cannon, skill damage, and weapon handling. Uh, the only way I could see people using this one is if they use it on like a capacitor skill build. And uh, that could work out, especially if you use the Technician Specialization. That way you could keep the Weapon Damage attribute. And then you could just roll the uh, Recalibrate, the Weapon Handling off for, you know, whatever it is you want. Crit Chance, Headshot, Skill Haste, what have you. Moving on to the mods. We have Crit Chance 4.6, Drone Duration 6.3, Turret Burn Damage 4.3, and Sticky Bomb Skill Haste of 4.2. Now, must buys things to look for from the base of ops. Uh, take a look at the born, uh, born grade. It does have damage to targets out of cover, which is nice. Um, I myself personally, I would rather use like the glory days, but this is an, another good weapon for uh, those looking for more accuracy and stability on their weapon. The Banshee would be pretty fun to use, especially with True Patriot. Hint, hint, cough, cough, wink, wink. The Alp Summit with repair skills. Uh, I don't know. And then the Fenris with glass cannon is another interesting one with that skill damage. Uh, so far, so good. I mean, that was a strong vendor reset for that one vendor. We'll, we'll see. Hopefully that's a good trend. All right, next up we have the Countdown Vendor. Remember, you can come here to the Countdown Vendor or you can go to the Haven Settlement in New York City. All right, here we go. So, ooh, contractors, gloves, let's go. Let's go. All right. Pick these up right now with 14% weapon damage. Let's get it. Pick up the contractors' gloves right now. These are best in slot gloves. If you have watched any of my build videos, uh, I don't know, 90% of them will have these gloves in them. They are best in slot for that armor damage, and if you're using something like the Pestilence, forget about it. It will completely change your outlook in life. Now this one, having such high weapon damage, you could take that weapon handling off and put whatever it is you want on there. 
Or if you're nasty, you could put this on a Pestilence build and then just switch the weapon damage off for armor damage and utilize that weapon handling for like reload speed and such. Because remember that Pestilence only goes off of weapon damage. So keeping that weapon handling on there uh, wouldn't be too bad. Nice. Now the other two, <laughs> the other two, we have the Cold Relations named PP19 with Perfect Strained. Uh, this one with Stability. And then the Everlasting Gaze with mm, max damage to targets out of cover and perfect perpetuation. Um, hmm. That's actually pretty decent. I might pick that one up. I uh, got rid of my Everlasting Gaze, but seeing this one with that max attribute, it'd be easy just to max out the rifle damage and then just optimize. Hmm. I might do that. We'll see. Because remember, uh, perfect perpetuation. Headshots grant you 50% status. So I might, I don't know. I might want to dabble with some uh, some more status while while the, the getting's good, if you know what I'm saying. Because uh, status, status builds run the world. Who runs the world? Status builds. <laughs> All right, moving on to the clan vendor. And big shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. We are on all platforms and we are on the Division Resurgence. I think we are currently number three in the world in the Division Resurgence. So if you are playing in that regional beta right now, just look us up DoD with KVD. It's free to join and uh, we get extra you know, spots open every day because the more we rank up that clan, the bigger you can make the clan. So we're already at like 56 or 58 members over there on Division Resurgence. And as long as you're in a clan and Division Resurgence, you get to take uh, all of those uh, perks and advantages. Um, the, and there's a lot. I, I'm going to have to do a full video just on that because the entire clan system in that game is mind-blowing. It's going to change the Division forever because it actually makes your clan members participate. It shows how much everyone participates, and it shows all the perks and bonuses you get as you participate. So it's a win-win-win situation. And uh, you know us over here at the DoD. We are active clans. So if you need an active community of like-minded you know, minded individuals, hit us up on Discord or hit me up on Xbox, PlayStation. You know the drill. All right. Clan Vendor, here we go. Starting off with the Firm Handshake. This is the uh, the named Sokolov Concern Gloves with status effects. Now, uh, this week it comes with headshot damage. However, the weapon damage core attribute is so high that I would say if you want to pick these up, pick them up, just recalibrate that headshot off for, say, crit damage, and then you're good to go. Now, if you want to put this on a skill build, you could easily change that headshot to skill damage and then just make sure you're using technician for that plus one skill tier. But there are multiple ways you could run this. Um, the firm handshakes are a really good pair of gloves. Try them out. Now, as far as the gear set items, we have striker gloves with weapon handling, eclipse mask with skill damage, and umbra holster with explosive resistance. Moving down to the high-end items, we have a Military AKM with Crit Chance and Killer, followed by a Military G36 with Swap Speed and Nearsighted, a GR9 with Max Headshot and Killer, Seska Gloves with Headshot Weapon Handling, Alp Summit Chess Piece with Spotter, Status Effects, and Hazard. Oh, nice. Y'all Gear Chess Piece with hazard nice um now there's a few ways uh, a few different reasons actually to pick up this chess piece so for one you have y'all gear blueprints you can get y'all gear blueprints just by doing control points in the game so you have the blueprints to craft your own y'all gear items a lot of people are in the comments and in chat, things like that, and say how hard it is to get y'all gear to drop. And I agree, it's rare. However, if you need y'all gear, the smartest thing for you to do 
is stock up on your e-credits or whatever it is they call that and buy this chess piece. Buy, I don't know, however many you can and just dismantle all of them because check this out. So when you buy, you know, here, here's two. You're going to get two sets of y'all um, materials. So right there. Y'all gear synthetic pinna. Now that is the material you need to craft y'all gear items. So you can easily just stock up on credits, come over here to the clan vendor, buy this y'all chess piece by the tons, dismantle all of them, and then run back to the crafting station and craft your own y'all gear. You can craft your own y'all gear gloves, you can craft your own y'all gear backpacks, holster, and I believe mask. Um, maybe even chess piece. Uh, actually, after this vendor will check. But anyways, that is a great way to make your own y'all gear. And if you craft y'all gear and you don't like it, you can dismantle it and craft it again. Just remember, it's about three y'all gear materials to craft one. So you need to make sure you stock up on them before you go over there and just start crafting away. Anyways, moving on. Uh, group, yo, pick these Grupo holster up right now. Pick this one up right now. Ah, I'm going to have to do an explosive damage build. Okay. Pick this holster up right now and change the weapon damage core to a skill tier. This is perfect for explosive damage builds like Seeker Mine builds, Mortar Turret builds, uh, Sticky Bomb builds, and um, um, I'm forgetting one, Stinger Hive builds. Um, explosive damage is dirty. It is dirty. Um, so we're going to have to probably do an explosive damage build this week just so that I can show you what I'm talking about because running two pieces of Grupo gives you 15% explosive damage. Running one piece of China Light gives you explosives damage, and running the Demolition of Specialization gives you explosive damage. So utilizing that with skill damage is big. Um, all right, anyways, that's a great holster. This is uh, working out to be a really good vendor reset. Now, moving on to the mods, we have Disorient Resistance, 8.8, .8, uh, Pulse Health, 15.5, Skill duration 8.6 and Seeker Mine health of 6.8. Now, must buys things to look for from the clan vendor uh, the firm handshake, good one, the do, 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 the all chess piece for obvious reasons, and the Grupo holster. So, we've had some uh, good pickups at each of the vendors so far. Now, what am I talking about with the Yaw gear? Now, just real quick, so if you go over to that clan vendor and you buy a whole bunch of, you know, a metric, you know, F-ton of uh, Y'all Gear chess pieces and you dismantle them, come over here to the crafting okay. station and let's see what all Y'all Gear you can craft. Right here, you can craft the mask. So it takes five per craft. So you have to buy at least five chess pieces to craft one mask. So that's why I'm saying you need to stock up on those credits and then craft them. Uh, let's see. Chess piece. I don't think. Let's see. Yep. You can uh, craft the chess piece. It costs five as well. But that way, once you craft it, you never have to worry about it ever again. All you have to do is optimize it and keep it in your stash. Here's the holster. So you can craft pretty much everything, y'all. Let's see here. Backpack. Oop, no, no backpack. Okay. No gloves. Uh, so it's only the the left three. Okay, got it. All right, so you can only craft these on the left. So the mask, the chest piece, and the holster. Each of them cost five of those y'all um, materials. All right, so now you know. Boom. 
Hopefully that saves a lot of people some time. Remember when you put three pieces of y'all together, you get pulse resistance. And then if you run one pulse resistant mod, you can be fully pulse resistant from spotter builds, flatline builds, things like that. All right. So that is it for the base of ops. Let's uh, go over to the campus. Now, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. We do division content every single day. And shout out where you're from. It's always cool to see where people are from. I love it. Alrighty. Campus. Settlement. Starting with the Night Watcher Mask. This is the Heligard Mask with Pulse uh, Haste, basically. Um, but it's only for the scanner pulse, and it only works in the open world. You can't use it in the dark zone or in conflict. Or can you? Eh, no. They they messed it up uh, for PvP, so you can't really use it uh, for PvP. But in PvE, you can use this to your heart's you know, extent, but uh, I don't know. I never really recommend this mask. But again, just like all of those named items out there, if you do not have it fully proficient, just pick up duplicates and then donate it. That way you can you know, fully max it out proficiency-wise, get that expertise level without even using it. And it's cheaper to buy and donate the duplicates than it is to just sit there and use all your materials. Uh, moving on to the M700 Carbon, we have uh, Magazine Size and Naked. Then uh, a classic M60 with Magazine Size Max LMG Damage and Flatline. Not bad because it does have that long underbarrel rail, so you can use this with that linked laser pointer and the Technician Specialization. Ooh, oh man. Next we have Uzina Mask. This one with health and armor region. And then finally, a Golan Gear holster with armor region and explosive resistance. Now looking at the mods, skill haste 10.1, chem launcher and snare duration 7.6, hive health 7.7, pulse health 14.3, and trap duration of 5.9. Now must buys from the campus, hmm. I mean, I would just use that classic M60 just to see how fun it would be with the flatline. But to be honest, they nerfed the M60 into the ground a long time ago, and no one's ever really used it ever since. There are better LMGs out there, especially that new exotic, the Iron Lung. That thing is dirty. All right, anyways, moving on from the campus, time to go to our Dark Zone vendors. Starting with Dark Zone West. Hell West, let's go. Now remember, for each of these Dark Zone vendors, you can only buy their items with DZ resources. So before you even go to these DZ vendors, you need to go to your resources. Just above your keys are your Dark Zone resources, and you can check it out. So you can see right here, I have 331 out of 999. So whenever I run out of these, I have to go into the dark zone and either pick up those blue boxes where they go straight to my inventory, or I have to deconstruct contaminated items and then extract the DZ resources that way. But either way, you can only get this currency from the dark zone. Now, with that being said, here is your first dark zone vendor, Dark Zone West. Ha West! Here we go. Anything you're looking for? All right, starting with Harmony. Now this is the named rifle with perfectly in sync and it comes with armor damage. I mean, that's it's a good weapon. It is a good weapon. Highly recommend if you do not have one, pick it up here. Uh, the Harmony is a good weapon. Perfectly in sync is a good, great talent and armor damage is also good for this rifle as well. It's checking off all the boxes. Uh, just pick it up, recalibrate that rifle damage to max and have fun. Next, we have a double barrel shotgun with swap speed and thunder strike. And finally, a lightweight M4 with perpetuation and damage targets at a cover and nearly max rifle damage. Jeez. Um, this lightweight M4 is very nice, but again, it's a rifle. I wish it was uh, the lightweight M4 from Division 1, but 
Yeah. Moving on. Uh, gear set items. We have tip of the spear gloves with near max weapon damage. Dang. All you would have to do is just recalibrate that health da or uh, headshot damage off for whatever it is you want, and you're good to go. And finally, for the gear set items, future initiative knee pads with status effects. Looking at the high-end items, uh, Araldi gloves with headshot and skill haste, and Alps knee pads with crit chance and hazard. Looking at the mods, shock resistance 8.5, secret mind skill haste 5.0, Shield Deflector Damage, 4.1. Firefly Damage, 6.0. And Decoy Duration of 6.0. Now, must buys things to look for from DZ West. Um, the Harmony, great one. Lightweight M4 if you're a good uh, rifle user. The Tip of the Spear gloves are nice, but it would probably be easier to just farm them in Countdown. That's about it. All right. Good doing business. So that is it from Dark Zone West. Now let's uh, take our talents down south, the deep south, to Dark Zone South. Here we go. Now, if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up. Support the channel. We do division content every day, so don't forget to subscribe. And let us know what you think. Uh, did we pass over any must-buy items? What is going to be your go-to item today? Oh, the apartment. Let's go. Yo, this is a great vendor reset. Holy shnikes, Batman. Jeez. Yo, we have contractor's gloves. We have the apartment. Oh, get out of here, man. Get out of town. Yo, this is probably one of the most sought-after PvP exclusive weapons in the game. Just pick it up. DZ South. Uh, it does come with headshot, so what I would do is just uh, pick it up, recalibrate that to damage the targets out of cover, and have fun. This is one of the most fun weapons in the game because it is now the only weapon in the game with perfectly measured. Now, in year one of the Division 2, this was probably the most overpowered talent in the game. It was on this weapon and also the Rail Splitter, but when Warlords of New York came out, they changed it up a little bit, and then they completely changed the rail splitter, and they left the apartment being the only weapon in the game with perfectly measured. Now, uh, it is a lot of fun to use. I love it. Please try it out if you haven't already. I promise you, you are going to enjoy it. Now, this is in DZ South, and it is the named MPX, the apartment. Moving on. We have a P90 with max crit chance, magazine size, and preservation. A FAL with crit hit damage and bread basket. And a M1911 with accuracy and bread basket. Looking at the gear items. Hot shot backpack with, dang, pretty high weapon damage. This is really good. So if you want this hot shot backpack, what I would do is just take off that armor region for anything you want. I would probably go headshot, but you could use whatever you want. And then that 13.7 weapon damage can be optimized once or twice to max. You'd be done. Umbra chest piece with skill damage. Douglas and Harding backpack with weapon handling, headshot, and safeguard. And then a Heligard chest piece with trauma, skill damage, and hazard. Looking at the mods, we have Crit Chance, 4.6. Drone Duration, 6.5. Turret Health, 7.9. And Sticky Bomb Blast Radius of 4.8. Now, must buys from DZ South, the Apartment, A1, pick it up right now. And the uh, Hot Shot Backpack, that's a good one to pick up as well. Okay. Good dealing with you. Moving on. Now, before we go to DZ East, we need to go to the castle. Now, the fastest way to go to the castle is the descent entrance. And uh, just watch your ears because they do like to blast music as soon as you come here. So just watch out. And uh, we'll try to find that dog pretty quick. Here we go. Hey, Ransom. There we go. Hey. No. No. It just said interact. Hey. Come here. Oh, no. Oh no, what's the dog doing? Oh! Yeah. Oh, the dog's head went through the stairs! Oh my gosh. What is going on today? Yeah, we going for a walk, Ransom? All right, let's go for a walk. 
We got this with that loud ass music. Hey, let's go. Look, look, just just me and the dog walking. Don't mind us. Hey, you're looking at my boy all wrong. Wrong tone. You do it again. Ah, nah, forget it, forget it. All right, what was that? control point detected. Hey, listening to this music blast out my eardrums. Oh, Ransom went up these stairs without going through it, head first. That sounds like the music's starting to cool down. Yo, where's this dog going, man? Where are you going? Oh, oh you can interact with me here. Oh. Oh, that was it. Ransom, like, stretched, and then that's it. See ya. All right. Bye, Ransom. Okay. So now the music has calmed down. The the doggy has let me interact with her. Now let's look at the vendor. Here we go. Castle vendor. Starting with the scalpel. This is the named marksman rifle with future perfection. And it comes with swap speed. Next, we have a surplus SVD with stability and strained. And finally, a black mark and M60 with stability and measured. Now, looking at the gear items, we have a Habsburg Guard mask with max hazard and armor region. And finally, a 511 holster with health and hazard. Looking at the mods, skill duration 8.3, chem launcher and snare health 13.9, Hive Health 7.7, .7, Pulse Radius 8.7, and Trap Duration of 6.1. Now, must buys things to look for from the Castle Settlement. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's really... Even the 511 Health and Hazard, I mean, those are both going to go into your brand set bonuses, but it's really not the best brand set to go for. So I'm going to say skip the castle this week. All right. Unless you're just here to uh, pet the dog. Then by all means, go to the castle. Our last Dark Zone stop is going to be Dark Zone East. Now, remember, fast travel to the Dark Zone East Alpha checkpoint. That way you don't have to run through that entire courtyard all you're going to get is this double reloading screen just to put you in a, you know, pop in lobby. But as soon as you leave this checkpoint, look to the left, and there's your vendor. And instead of fast traveling way out there, and then you have to, like, run all the way down here. So, here you go. Now, DZ East. Here we go. Always happy to see the Hollow Man mask. Holy shit. Let's go. Pardon my French. I am sorry. Yo, this vendor reset, holy crap, man. I swear, there are some gauges or something with them, and as soon as something is, like, going down, they turn up their vendor gauge, and then it's like, we get all these great freaking drops. Because for weeks, we get, like, mediocre stuff, but holy crap, man, today! This is one of the best-in-slot masks to ever run. This gives you health damage of 10%. It's the only thing in the game that will give you that much health damage. And it comes with, like, that's, what, 5,000 armor away from max? That's a one optimization to max. So that means you can change that health attribute to whatever it is you want. This is a perfect mask to pick up. I mean, just on my loadouts alone... I have one right there with reds. And I have one right there with a blue. I mean, I'm running Hollow Man Mask a lot in my builds. I highly, highly recommend you pick this one up. DZ East. Let's go, dude. So we have the Hollow Man Mask. We have the apartment. We have the contractor's gloves. We have a whole bunch of uh, gear sets with, like, max core attributes. This is a... Uh... All right. All right, Division. I see you. I see you. Okay. Moving on. Paratrooper SVD, crit chance and reformation. And a M249 Bravo with swap speed and measured. Looking at the gear items, 
We have a Heartbreaker Mask with Health, a Foundry Bulwark. Yo, another one. Dude, where's DJ Khaled? Where, where's he at? Another one. All right, so here's Foundry Bulwark. This core attribute is one optimization from max, and you can change that armor region for whatever it is you want. You can max out hazard. You can max out armor region. You could go crit. You could go headshot. The world is your oyster. But it doesn't matter. It's right here. DZ East. Just pick it up. Have fun. Next, we have a 511 mask with crit chance and weapon handling. And finally, a Brazos holster with crit chance and armor region. Damn, that's a good one, though. But that armor is hella low. Moving on to the mods. Skill Haste, 10.0. Chem Launcher Radius, 5.7. Hive Health, 7.6. Pulse Skill Haste, 4.9. And Trap Duration of 4.2. Yo, the Hollow Man Mask, pick it up right now. DZ East. And also check out the Foundry Holster. All right. Thanks for the Damn, man. These are some good vendor resets, dude. I am pumped. What is today? Is there some sort of, like, uh, update today for, like, COD or Destiny or something? Like, why are these vendors popping so damn hard right now? This is crazy. This is crazy. Like, at least 90% of our vendors have had things that are, like, decent. Here we go. And then we come over here to the theater, and he fucks it all up. All right, here we go with the boomstick. This is the named shotgun with perfect pumped up. And this one comes with crit hit damage. Then we have a 612 with health damage and close and personal. A classic M1A with health damage and eyeless. Electric gloves with repair skills and armor region. And Murakami knee pads with explosive resistance and status. Looking at the mods. Uh, protection from Elite's 11. When are we ever going to get a 13? Come on, man. Give us a 13. Uh, Seeker Mind Damage, 4.2. Shield Health, 4.3. Firefly Blind Effect Duration, 5.7. And Decoy Health of 6.0. Must buys from the theater. Um, I mean, Close and Personal is nice on a 6.12. You would just have to change the health damage to damage to targets at a cover and then optimize the other ones, but that is a good one for a shoddy. Uh, that's about it. All right. Always a pleasure, Agent. Yo, the weather outside is weather. And that's it for Washington, D.C. Now let's uh, go over to New York. New York. And we are going to take our talents to the haven settlement now there are two vendors left we have marco at the top of this escalator and then roy benitez just outside but here we go marco hey, Agent. You looking to trade? all right starting off with the cabaret this is the named submachine gun with perfect thunderstrike with magazine size it is not a great weapon however if you do not have this one fully proficient, pick this one up, donate the duplicates, and that's it. That way you can see that it's fully proficient, and then you never have to use it. Um, I'm just being honest with you. It doesn't shock enemies. It doesn't do anything like Ignited or Sadist or any of those other ones do, Eyeless. Um, this one only affects people that are already shocked. So you are never going to see that extra damage unless you are purely shooting enemies that are shocked. But that means you would have to first shock them to use this weapon. There's just there's so many other things out there that are better. Um, maybe if they reworked it and like the fourth enemy you kill shocks them, something like that, it might work. But the fact that it only works against shocked targets and you can't shock a target with that weapon just makes it pretty useless, in my opinion. Anyways, let me know in the comments. Next, we have a uh, Covert SRS with mag size and strained. Military Mark 17 with uh, stability lucky shot. A PX4 Storm Type T with armor damage and ranger. Looking at the gear items, we have a Petrov bag with galvanized headshot and skill haste. 
a Soklov pair of gloves or knee pads, sorry, <laughs> pair of knee pads with a weapon handling and status effects, and electric holster with skill damage and hazard. Looking at the mods, crit chance 4.4, incoming repairs 7 point, or 17.1, drone plus two extra bombs, hive plus four repair charges, and decoy health of 5.5. Must buys from Marco. Not really, man. Not really. Thanks for the trade. Yeah, there was no trade, Marco. You let me down, man. You let me down. All right, finally, Roy Bunny. To oh, but wait. Make sure you interact with Comet, right? Isn't this Comet? Now, remember, there are uh, multiple interactions you can do with this uh, doggy. The first one is the same one. It does a pet. But the second interaction is random. So let's see what the second one is. This week. Oh, he sat down. Oh, oh, look at that. He put his, oh, that was good. A little heartwarming. All right, here we go. Roy Benitez, what up? Hey, agent. All right, Roy Benitez, what you got, man? Uh, Banshee SMG with strained and rate of fire. Uh, hunting M44 with accuracy and lucky shot. Lightweight M4 with swap speed and ranger, and a M45A1 with crit damage and optimist. Looking at the gear items, we have a Golan bag with energize, explosive resistance, and crit hit damage. Habsburg guard knee pads with explosive resistance and armor region. And Providence defense. Yo, that's a good one. That one should get I'll pick that one up. <clears throat> Uh, you should too. Anyways, uh, Providence Defense Holster with crit chance and weapon handling. And I know you're asking yourself, well, Kami, why would you just buy that? It has weapon handling. <laughs> I, I know it does. Um, there's actually uh, two reasons why I did that. You can make this a double crit holster just by taking the weapon handling off for crit hit damage or... You could use, utilize this on a headshot build because Providence gives you headshot damage. So you could do headshot, crit chance, and then get the headshot from the brand set bonus. And you could use that with something like the Regulus, something like that. Um, crit chance and he headshot damage are perfect together because when you crit your headshots, that's the uh, best damage in the game. Anyways, moving on. Looking at the mods. Uh, repair skills, 15.6. Disorient resistance, 8.4. Seeker mind skill haste, 4.8. Chem launcher and snare health, 14.2. And finally, trap duration of 4.3. All right. Now, must buys things to look for from Roy Benitez. Hmm. I would only say the Providence Holster. Uh, that one's it. You could either go double crit or go crit headshot, but either way, this is a great holster to have. The attributes are high enough to where you could just optimize them a couple times each, and they will be maxed out, and then you'll be good to go forever. Now, remember, you could use this with, like, say, the Sacrifice and get the headshot, the crit chance, and perfect glass cannon. Just, uh, you know, fruit for thought. Anyways... That is it for your weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, November 28th. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, please hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. I do upload division content every single day. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please shout out where you're from. Let me know what you think. This is probably one of the best vendor resets I've seen this year. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Peace out.